Hey y'all, it's me Lauren, AKA Hello So Natural. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're not a current subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. If you aren't familiar with who I am and what I talk about, I primarily talk about natural skincare, hygiene, fragrance, and black owned businesses, but you'll get a little bit of everything sprinkled here and there. I recently put out a vlog, go check that out. It's a veg fed veggie for me. I cut out meat for the month of February. So go check out my vlog. I have a live with my girl, Vanilla Mikkel. Go check that out. We had an amazing time as always. Y'all, today I'm bringing a long awaited layering combo video. I had 15 layering combos for you all. So if you're interested in seeing what I've been wearing and how I've been smelling good, keep watching. Y'all, Bubba's asleep, so I'm gonna try and get through this video as quickly as possible. I have to say, these are heavy hitting combos. The weather has been cold some days and mildly cool other days and warm other days. Maryland just don't know what it's doing. I'm just saying that as a caveat and disclaimer, you're gonna get different combos in this video. So I have my iPad in front of me and I have the visual of the combos here and you all will see it on the screen. My last two layering combos, my layering combo from yesterday, as well as my scent of the day today, I will show y'all in person at the end. Y'all know me, I just like to get into them and keep it moving. The first combo, I started off with my Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil, which is inspired by Nest and from the scent for you, the home of the $2.50 perfume oils. Madagascar Vanilla is a creamy coconut vanilla scent, heavy on both the coconut and the vanilla is giving tropical vanilla. I also layered it with my Finery I'm a Musk perfume because I don't really reach for it. I've heard people compare it to Ariana Grande's Cloud and while I see why people say that to me, it's at least not a spot on dupe. Maybe it does kind of give the vibe, but no, to me it smells like a musky cotton flower scent. Like it literally smells like cotton. To me it still kind of smells like popcorn a little bit, but that's neither here nor there. And then I used two fragrance mist. I used my Bath & Body Works Frosted Coconut Snowball, which I don't have the notes for, but it gives coconut and snowball, like a literal frosted coconut scent, like coconut frosting. And Ariana Grande's Cloud Fragrance Mist, which smells like the perfume. It was giving cozy, cool coconut vanilla. If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop it in the comments down below. I got you. Let me know if I'm moving too fast. I mean, it's not really gonna do anything for this video, but I'll take note for the future. And feel free to take a screenshot of the combo or take a picture, whatever works for you. The next combo is giving cookie gourmand warm bakery okay i started off with my ioni wellness body butter this is the scent snickerdoodle and it's amazing ioni wellness is a black owned business out of baltimore shout out to that business go support them especially in the month of february which is black history month i also use my chansu parfum vanilla matrimony perfume i recently did a video on chansu parfum and Vanilla Matrimony is a buttery vanilla cake scent. I layered it with my Bakery Air Perfume Oil by The Land of Oz. And let me tell you, that is becoming one of my favorite gourmand perfume oils. I'm so glad I got it. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Best gift ever. 
and I layered it with my Bath and Body Works Mary Cookie Fragrance Mist, which gives thick almond cookie. Yeah, that's the vibe it gives. I absolutely loved that layering combo. I have to admit, I like gourmand scents, but I am not a true gourmand girly. But this combo right here, this combo, I would run it back for sure. Y'all don't have to duplicate my layering combos. I'm not saying go out and get everything that I show you, but you can try to replicate it with fragrances in your collection. The next layering combo, as you can see, the Snickerdoodle Body Butter is there, but it's gone. But I did use that body butter with that combo. I think I forgot to take a picture of it that day, so I had to go back days later after I finished the body butter for the visual for y'all. But I started off with the Snickerdoodle Body Butter. I then used my Bakery Air Perfume Oil because I told y'all it's giving with the girls it was supposed to give and I love it. I also layered it with my Yum Pistachio Gelato Perfume Oil by Fragrant Body Oils, which is a black owned business. If you can't afford Kayali's Yum Pistachio Gelato 33, get it from Fragrant Body Oils. It smells identical. The scent projects. It is magical and you can wear it all year round. I also layered it with my Praline and Pistachio Perfume, which if you aren't familiar with it, People say it's similar to Charosa 71. Um, to me, it smells like Bath and Body Works Murray Cookie. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I could compare it to. It's giving a macadamia cookie with white chocolate chips. That's what it smells like to me. So Praline and Pistachio, Yum Pistachio Gelato, Bakery Air, and my Snickerdoodle Body Butter. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I smell so good, I wanna wear it again. <sighs> Moving right along, okay. Next up, I started off with my Snickerdoodle Body Butter, again, by Ioni Wellness. I then layered it with my Vanilla 28 Perfume Decant. I also layered it with my Mimic 32, which is inspired by Charosa 62, which is caramel and pistachio, salted caramel and pistachio. And I layered it with my Snowflakes in Cashmere Fragrance Mist. Because I don't have the fragrance mist in front of me, I can't tell y'all the exact notes, but I do know Snowflakes in Cashmere has, I think Clementine, caramel, like caramel woods or something and maybe vanilla. So I definitely enjoyed it. I hadn't really thought about layering snowflakes and cashmere with like vanilla 28 or Charosa 62 before that, but it worked, okay? Definitely a fire, warm, pretty, sweet, not too gourmand, but gourmand-esque pretty combo. The next layering combo features my Delight Perfume, which is a dupe of Delina by Parfums de Marley. I use my Delina Perfume Oil because doesn't that make sense? And then I also use my Bath & Body Works Whipped Rose and Vanilla scent, which is a Creamy, smooth, mocha rose scent. And then I also layered it with the Pink Lily and Bamboo Fragrance Mist because again, I've been trying to use up my fragrance mist and it gives a Delina vibe where it's kind of fresh, super floral, but it also kind of has a slight sharpness kind of like Delina and the whipped rose and vanilla layers well with the pink lily and bamboo for whatever reason so that's kind of how I came up with this specific combo if y'all don't have the fragrance mist you could try it with the lotion if you don't have delight you have Delina use that um you might also have the Delilah 
perfume by Latafa. Delight and Delilah are very similar. I can tell you that because I own both. I just happen to use Delight for this combo. All right, so the next combo, as y'all can see, this is not obviously in any particular order because y'all see that <laughs> Snickerdoodle body butter. Anywho, I started off with it. I then used my Ambrosia Imperial Perfume Decant. That is by Navitus. It is an AI The Great and Navitus collab that has the fragrance notes of banana. I think it has some type of orange, cinnamon, dates probably vanilla i wouldn't be surprised if it had patchouli like it's a very complex festive scent to me and i actually finished this sample i would rate it probably eight out of ten just so you know i layered it with my bath and body works pumpkin cupcake fragrance mist and my victoria's secrets vanilla amber bourbon fragrance mist which is chef kiss chef kiss i don't have too much more to say about this combo except i enjoyed it the next layering combo <laughs> i kind of have to give a backstory i knew i wanted to use my mont blanc signature perfume oil I knew I wanted to use Yara and I knew I wanted to use Orange Vanilla Twist. Now, if you know me, you know I like to use up products. So I had really been working hard to finish up my Butter Baby Yams Body Butter because Thanksgiving has come and gone. And I'm not gonna wanna use the Yams Body Butter in the summer. I don't even wanna use it for the spring. So I said, let me use it up. It has a yam scent, of course, but it also gives me a citrusy, sweet orange aroma. So I say, all right, I can definitely layer yams and Mont Blanc Signature and Orange Vanilla Twist for sure. But I also added my Love Don't Be Shy perfume oil because why not? I know Yara and Love Don't Be Shy go together. Mont Blanc Signature has the vanilla and the orange. Love Don't Be Shy has the orange blossom and the marshmallow and the yams has the marshmallow. Like, you feel me? It just all went together and it might sound like a crazy combo, but trust me, I was smelling good. Yara, Mont Blanc Signature, Love Don't Be Shy, Orange Vanilla Twist with the base of my yams body butter. Okay, we use products over here. And by we, I mean me and Bubba. We use products. Don't let them products go bad. Don't waste that money. Use it. Use it in a creative way. Think outside the box, y'all. Think outside the box. It's not that hard. Not that difficult. I'm just saying. <laughs> The next combo, one of my favorites that I need to run back before the weather gets too warm. I started off with my Butter Baby Gingerbread Body Butter sample. When I tell you it's the most realistic gingerbread scent, I have smelled authentic gingerbread. Amazing. 15 out of 10. I then used my powdery tobacco perfume by dossier that is a dupe of tobacco vanille by tom ford it has the top notes of tobacco ginger apricot the middle notes of honey vanilla and cocoa and the base notes of tonka bean dry fruits and blonde woods so y'all when y'all think vanilla and ginger i don't know what y'all think but i think about princess i don't need a prince by my side by killian i don't have that scent but i do have the inspired perfume oil from the oil lady which is a black owned business and i have princeless princess extra date parfum by the dual brand princess has 
like green tea. It has apple, marshmallow, like vanilla, ginger. I might be missing something, but amazing, right? Princess and a powdery tobacco might seem like an unlikely pair, but it's phenomenal. Then I said, let me add my Serge Luton perfume, my Shergi, because Shergi has the fragrance notes. I don't even remember off the top of my head. It has honey, it has tobacco, and powdery tobacco had both of those notes and more. When I tell you they went together real bad, they went together real bad. And then I wanted to sweeten it up. I didn't want it to be too heavy. So I added Wrapped in Vanilla, the fragrance mist by Bath and Body Works, which if you know, you know. My combo was comboing. Sometimes it's not about the exact same overlapping notes. It's just picking two notes, three notes, one note, and going from there. Whether the perfume, fragrance mist, perfume oils only have one matching note and all of the other ones are different, it still might be fire and more than likely probably will be. Just a little tip from me to you and use your products. The next Lanrin combo was inspired by my girl Stephanie Chanel. Go check out her channel. In her layering combo video, she used Essence of Casablanca with Bath & Body Works Pink Suede. Now, I don't have Essence of Casablanca by Swiss Arabian, but I have Casablanca, the original. So I layered those two, and then I did a remix of her layering combo. Because I know Casablanca is fire with Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple, I used my perfume oil from The Oil Lady. And then I saw pink and pink suede. I know there's the overlapping note of apple in Casablanca and in Eden Juicy Apple. Pink suede has berries, it has the peony note, and it has cotton. My reasoning for adding Eden Sparkling Lychee was the fact that it's Eden. I know Eden Sparkling Lychee goes together with Eden Juicy Apple. And it was pink, like pink suede. So I said, why not? And Eden Sparkling Lychee is not a powerhouse scent alone unless you overspray it. And I only have a 10 mil, so I really don't overspray it. So I knew if I paired it with a beastly combo, it will find its place somewhere in there. And it did. When I tell you I was smelling amazing, I was smelling amazing. Even though it's an out of the box, non-typical combo, it still worked. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The next layering combo was a combo I have worn in the past. I started off with my Lost Cherry perfume oil, which is inspired by Tom Ford. That perfume oil is from wholesalebodyoils.com. I layered it with a Lost Cherry decant because if I'm gonna use the perfume oil, I might as well use the perfume. Then I layered it with Burberry Her, the EDP, and Fall in Bloom, which is a dupe, essentially, of Burberry Her. Barbary Her has strawberry and some other berry notes in there. Lost Cherry has the cherry. Burberry Her and Lost Cherry go together well. Burberry Her and Fall in Bloom go together really, really well. Fall in Bloom and Lost Cherry go together really, really well. Fragrance Math. If A plus B equals C, and A plus B equals C, then A plus B equals C. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like that makes sense to somebody. 
All right. The next layering combo. Fire, 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 fire. And y'all wouldn't believe I wore this to church. And somebody complimented me on this combo. They gave me a hug and they said, what are you wearing? And my mom was like, probably five things. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, no, it's only like two or three things. The whole time I remember, it really was like five. So where did I start? I started off with set in midnight and I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I just wanted to use it because I had not used that perfume in a while. Set in Midnight is inspired by MFK's, <laughs> Maison Francis Kirk de Jean's, Ooh Set and Mood. If you don't know who MFK is, that is the creator of Baccarat Rouge 540. But my Set in Midnight is from the Door brand. I then layered it with my Florence perfume by Swiss Arabian, which people say it's a dupe for Rose's Vanille, which I've never smelled. It does smell like Rose Gourmand if you have that. Rose Gourmand is by Zara. Layer those two. And then I wanted to lighten it up, make it a little bit more fruity and sweet. Those fragrances are rose based. Rose based. Satin Midnight has oud and rose and some other stuff I don't remember. I added Fakar by La Taffa, which really doesn't have overlapping notes, but it does have some fruity notes. It has floral notes. It's essentially a dupe of Givenchy's Lantern D. And because I added that, I said, all right, let me add Pink Lily and Bamboo. And then I used a little bit of my Half Dram sample from Fragrant Body Oils inspired scent for Kaali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. It was giving. It was giving. My personal scent bubble, bubbling. I kept smelling myself throughout the day and it just was like, you need to bottle this up and sell it to the people because people are not gonna try this combo because it's too outside the box, it's too many scents and whatever, whatever, whatever. But when I tell you, I just felt grown, I felt like a boss babe like this actually i wouldn't say it's like a church scent though it wasn't necessarily inappropriate for church it was just giving boss babe this combo is giving boss babe <laughs> all right moving right along okay y'all bearing with me again if you have any questions comments concerns drop it down below and don't forget to like if you hear a combo you like Give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. The next combo, I also used my Ioni Wellness Snickerdoodle Body Butter. And then I layered it with Gentle Fluidity Gold by Mason Francis Kirk de Jean and my Gold Fluid Perfume, which is by The Door Brand and is inspired by Gentle Fluidity Gold. This day, I was testing Gentle Fluidity Gold versus Gold Fluid. I wore one on one arm and one on the other arm. And that's how this combo came about. But I was smelling amazing. If you have Gentle Fluidity Gold and you have like a Snickerdoodle body butter, try it. If you have a dupe for it, try it. The Snickerdoodle body butter has like a cinnamon cookie scent. Gentle Fluidity Gold has the nutmeg and vanilla and etc. etc. So, though it might not seem like they go together, they really go together. The next combo, just like an easy, playful combo, I used my Mont Blanc Signature Perfume Oil by The Scent For You. I also used my Yara Perfume by La Taffa, which to me smells like papaya and cream. Mont Blanc Signature smells like powdery orange and cream. And then I layered it with my Magnetic Candy Fragrance Mist by Finery, which you can get from Target. Finery is said to be a dupe 
of Byredo's Sundays, which I've never smelled, but it gives me the vibes of like Love Don't Be Shy and Oriana, but just a little different. They're all like cousins. Oriana, Love Don't Be Shy, and Magnetic Candy, maybe Byredo Sundays. I think Finery's Magnetic Candy has Pamelo, Cotton Candy, and I think Violet. I think those are the fragrance notes they have listed. Y'all, I just swiftly got through 13 combos and I have two more for y'all. My combo from yesterday was amazing. The base I used was my Key Essential Oils Vanilla Passion Body Butter. Vanilla Passion supposedly is created with seven different vanillas and pear. It gives sweet, creamy, inoffensive vanilla. It gives slightly tropical vanilla vibes. It's so pretty, so, so pretty. Then I went in with my pink chiffon perfume oil by the scent for you this is inspired by bath and body works pink chiffon which i don't have but i had it like in high school and it smells so good identical spot on and it's stronger i'm not even a pear girly but this <laughs> it's nostalgic for me it gives me all the vibes it brings back all the memories it's so good pink chiffon plus vanilla passion then i'm gonna try and make it make sense so i'm gonna go with this perfume next this is black opium la parfum this has pear it has vanilla and more vanilla it has coffee y'all it's warm it's so good like I could easily say Black Opium Late Parfum, which I got for Christmas as a gift. This will probably be in my top four perfumes that I have. Easily. And then I layered it with my door brand. You okay? Yeah. Don't cry. So, as y'all can see, Bubba woke up from her nap. Me and homegirl been having a time today. The Terrific Twos, while they started off challenging, I promise you it got worse. <laughs> I promise you it got worse. But it's okay. I know it's just a... It's life. Well, homegirl, we've been having a time today. I still love you, though. So, I was saying I layered the pink chiffon and black opium lay parfum. This right here, amazing. You could stop here and it'd be perfectly amazing. But then I knew I liked Le Parfum, Black Opium Le Parfum with my Goddess Within Her perfume by the Dual Brand. This is inspired by Burberry Goddess, which is a aromatic vanilla. This has vanilla and lavender and cacao and slight ginger and what am I missing? I think that's everything. But Burberry Goddess or Goddess Within Her plus Black Opium Lay Parfum. Y'all might not believe me, but it's fire. And then you add Vanilla Passion and Pink Chiffon. Honey, they're not going to be able to tell you anything. And I considered gatekeeping that combo and just keeping it for myself, but I love y'all so much. I'm gonna share it. We can all smell good. Then, my scent of the day today, what body butter did I use? I used my Butter Baby 
Lux Aloe and Shea Lotion, which is a elevated Lux Fresh. Elevated Lux Scent. I've talked about it a number of times. It just gives like an elevated lotion scent. Then I layered it with Yum Pistachio Gelato by Fragrant Body Oils, inspired by Kayali, and then Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper Perfume Oil, inspired by Kayali by Fragrant Body Oils. Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper, which is a rose scent, is grown feminine. It's another Boss Babe scent. Amazing. Now, I don't think it's a scent everybody will like because it does have the pink pepper, but Yum Pistachio Gelato and Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper, y'all know Kayali scents were meant to be layered. These two, another unlikely pairing, work so well together. And then I also added my Bath & Body Works Life of the Party Fragrance Mist because this has the fragrance notes of pink citrus, bubbly prosecco, jasmine, and shimmering vanilla. Yum Pistachio Gelato has the citrus. This has the jasmine. Kayali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper has the floral has vanilla which both of these I'm sure have vanilla and yeah it just brought it all home that is my scent of the day today 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 I so hope y'all enjoyed this layering combo video I have a lot of content coming y'all way I know some of y'all are fans of my fragrance content and I promise I'm gonna keep it coming. I love fragrance. I just want to do more content. I just don't wanna be tied down to one niche and I just wanna expand and grow. So I hope y'all will grow with me because I'm a whole mom. I'm a whole mom. I have a whole life outside of YouTube that y'all don't see that I am willing to show y'all a little more. I'm not gonna show y'all everything, but I want y'all to be entertained with more content other than fragrance. But the fragrance is still coming. You wanna say hi? You wanna wave? No, okay. See, I told y'all we having a day and it's okay. <sighs> y'all, I surely forgot to turn up my ring light. Wow, okay. Well, if you know anybody that loves fragrance, feel free to share my content. Again, if you are a current subscriber, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It lets me know. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. These right here, amazing.